orange flavor mother Hey everyone, it's King CK here, and today we're here with uh, Operation Infinite Ocean Preview number 9. Uh, and we finally, after about two months of building together, we finally have Chris with us. The one and only. <laughs> Alright, so I think we can get started here. I'm going to switch into Creative Fly while I'm searching around this ship. Uh, this ship right here is from one of our newest builders. Um, it's KG Best something. Uh, he has Some a really long name. name. Yeah, so I just call him KG for short. So... Here's his new ship, the uh, Maersk Line Freighter, and it's I think it's designed after after a real world freighter. I'm not 100% positive on that one. Yeah, it's uh, all I know is that it's 150 blocks long. Yep, and then it has uh, bow thrusters on it even. And he's yeah. one of uh, him and Murrow are the two main builders that actually throw hulls on their ships. Yeah, well we just do whatever. We kind of yeah. make them for Zeppelin support. Yep. All right, so I think we'll work our way over to his, some of his other ships. I think Merle also built a new ship, too. Yeah. So, switch into high-speed fly mode while I go over there. And then I know we didn't show this uh, sailing boat last time, which this is... I think this is by him as well. It might be. Well, I most of his so. stuff is over there. Yep. This could be, like, uh, Elite's or Kyle's. Yeah, I, I bet you it's Elite or Kyle. So if it's yeah. one of your guys, just feel free to leave a comment saying that it's yours. We don't really know whose ships all what. Um, all right, so right over here, I believe this research vessel is. I want to say Kyle did this one, or maybe Elite did. Yeah, one of them. One of them, and then behind it here we got uh, KG's new ships, which right here we got a container ship that he built today. Uh, yeah, it was this on this was, morning. This was like half yeah, done when I last saw it. Yep, I came on this morning, and then he's like, "Oh, hey, I'm building a ship," so I came and checked it out. So, um, I think it's based off a of real one. Once again, there's no signs on these ships ever. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if I find a picture of it, once again, like I did in the last video, I'll have little pictures of ships if there's real world ships. Uh, right up here, we got the Red Red Funnel Ferry. Um, it's a ferry over in the UK. Uh, if you guys play Ship Simulators Extremes or Ship Simulator, I think 2008 they introduced it. Yeah, it's 2008. And then, yep. They uh they have this ferry in there, except for it's all full of cars. Then right here, um, this one I'm not sh quite sure what it, what the uh, name of the vessel is, but it, I know it is it is based off of a real world one. Oh, it's the uh, Merc Handler. That's what it is. Yeah, it's this like a work boat for them. Yep, it's pretty much they bring like cargo crates around the harbors and stuff like that. And then this like candy cane slash barber shop pole look is actually on the real ship too. Yeah. And then. Then right here we got uh, the Color Line Express Ferry. Um, I sent him a picture of one of the Color Line ships I liked, and also like the next day he's like, "Oh hey, I built it." So <laughs> pretty much threw that together in a day, I think actually. Then right here we got Chris's newest recruit. Uh, what is Sin. his name? Sin, it's like yeah, Sin it's something. Sin. I just call him Sin for short. Just yeah, like, it looks a like a Sinari two sixty. And, uh, so I just call him Sin. Yeah, we all call him Sin for short. Yeah, Coast Guard Cutter. So, just the little Coast Guard Cutter. And then a little speedboat down there he built, too. Yeah. And then right up here we got Elite's uh, Russian Ferry. And then behind it, you guys saw last time, is Kyle's Ships. And I think we showed that ferry off last time, too. Yeah. Um, if I didn't show this one off last time, this is just the uh, Northern Ex Exploration, I think. I don't know. I always call it something different, and then the name always turns out to be something else. Um, and then up here, I believe right up behind these boats, because you got a little ferries right here, and then a workship. Then, yeah. Then this one right up here is one of Nano's last builds with us, because unfortunately we had a little bit of a disagreement with Nano, and he is no longer part of Operation Infinite Ocean. So, uh, this is pretty much one of his last builds with us, and it's just a little destroyer, I believe. Yeah. So, um, I think we'll warp over to our building grounds now, I guess, because there's not much over here. See here, where'd you go? Right here. Oh, there you Next are. Next to you. All right, so I think we'll start with your builds first, because you can talk then. Yeah. So. so over here are just the two sister ships, the Hawaii Super Ferry, that are not in operation right now. I already went into like a whole entire rant on one of my own videos, and these are just uh, high-speed car ferries, catamarans that were used on the Hawaiian Hawaiian Islands for 
good deep couple of years until they went bankrupt. So it's basically all on that one. Over here is just a repainted Coast Guard cutter, if you're over here. There you are. Yeah, I'm right here. It's just a, it's the Coast Guard cutter that I showed. Or it's over in the Harbor 3, and I just yep. repainted it because one of our other captains was here, here, so I was like, oh, I'll just repaint it, give it color. Yep. And it's just and like a big mess area where we just messed around. They were just playing with the brush. Yeah. So. All right. I guess I'll take over here. That right there is, they'll see more on later. And then right below us, actually, we have our first helicopters. Which is done. mine. This one's mine. Yeah. I'm not sure who this one is. That's mine. So the orange one is Chris's, and then this two wide one, or four wide one is mine. Yeah, I was going to throw yep. that on the cutter, which I still can. Yep. And then right here, we got my little mess of fairies. I've been building a ton of Norwegian ships lately. Um, back there, this is one of my newest ones, which you see in one of my videos. Uh, that's the Gan back there. And then they also have another one, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Uh, I think it's like... Oh, geez, I'm not even going to attempt it because it's a huge, um, giant Norwegian name. Then down here, we got a little one, which is based off, I think it's the MF Renoy, I believe. Um, I sent it to Kyle, and he spent about three hours looking for the ship, managed to find it, and he built uh, one, too. Mine's a little skinnier than his. And then right here up in front, uh, George sent me a, a build request while he was gone. And it, this was for the, I think it's MV. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on this one. And it's the uh, Linga. Which is the tiny little uh, car ferry off in, um, I think in the UK, I believe. So I, it's still a European ferry, I just haven't, um, that's just not, that's the only one out of this pack that isn't actually Norwegian. Uh, right here we got the Norwegian Trimer and the Tristan, I think. I uh, saw this one in like a group of pictures that someone had taken, so I liked it, looked up a little more detail on it, and uh, pretty much, it's a little bit of a modification of Red Jet. Um, pretty much re-overdid all of Red Jet. And then behind it here we got, I think I named it, uh, oh yeah, the Vagan. Uh, I didn't do an interior on it, I just kind of finished it in one day. I uh, saw the ship, decided to build it, and called it called it a day. Um, back here we just got my basic ships I showed off in the last preview. Um, and then right here, I don't know if I put the name tag on it, and this one once again is one of those fancy Norwegian names I don't even want to attempt to pronounce. And this is similar to uh, Lingen, where it's just a little tiny car ferry with an opening uh, bow nose area. And then we'll work our way here back, where it's another one of your ships. Oh yes, my, uh, what's it called, the Baltic Trader, which is a cargo ship that I needed a spot. Well, I had a big spot for a cargo ship, so oh, I'll just build a 116 long, block long cargo ship, which turned out really great. As I do, I used like a kind of different bow style, kind of like what George used on the Senta, where it does that kind of weird curve. Yep. And then also on the back turned out really great as well. It's not it's not furnished, and nope. that's pretty much all I have to see on it. And over here all we have right. some more stuff. Yep. Like right down here we have uh, my fail attempt at the. Uh, one of British Columbia's other fairies, uh, I think it's the Queen of Prince Rupert. Uh, I started out on it, got about a third of the way done, and I realized I just completely screwed this ship up, so I'm probably just going to abandon that one. Um, right here, uh, this is... I believe it's KJ's. This is, yep, this is K. Because I told him he, had, he, he was saying that he didn't have any room to work, so I said, oh, you can just work around and build too. Yep. And then so pretty much uh, I sent him a ship this morning, the Maldive Energy, and I said, hey, you want to build a 50 ship with me? He said, sure. And so we get we went to get started. Um, I was moving some files, so I thought, okay, I'm going to take a break. I told him I was going to take a quick hour nap. Uh, I passed out until about 6 in the afternoon, and he had finished it. And he's like, I thought you were going to help. And I was like, oh. So I kind of <laughs> kind of left him to build that one on, on his own, but I'll do an interior for him probably later if I have some free time. And then back here, uh, it's still a work in progress by one of my crew members, and I think either KJ or, or someone has been working on it. And this is the uh, Tyneco Tyne uh, CS Responder, which is a cable-laying ship. It's one of those really big ships that go across the uh, Atlantic Ocean and just lay uh, big carbon fiber cables down. So I think that's pretty much it. And then right over there is the repaint and re-kind of do of uh, GAN which is the other one that has the fancy name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> so, so sophisticated. I think this is pretty much it for this building area. Why don't we go to your um, 
ships area, ships three. I'm trying to think what we have all new over there. Uh, oh, we already showed the cargo ship, which was already put there. There's the marina, and that's over this way. Yep. I think, is there some new stuff over in the marina? Yeah, there's a good amount of stuff. Yep, like there's uh, George's repainted uh, ship to look like a fairy. Yeah. Which we showed off in, I think, preview three, maybe that one was shown off in. Yeah, his yacht, or... Yep. And then... yeah, George has been gone all week, so... Yeah, and then he brought in some of his boats from his one big pack he did. Yep, and that we showed that off last time as well. Last time. Yep. And then over here we have the marina, which wasn't here last time. Yep, and I'm pretty sure I didn't show off your ships last time either, so. No. Gonna... So basically, over from over here, we got two little fishing yachts, some little tiny general fishing boats for like private people own them boats and then go out. And then we got two little tour boats. That I, I saw like tons of picture of this blue one, and then I saw just like one picture. This was like a retired World War II ship that was converted into and a touring uh, vessel. And this ferry right here, um, it's actually in Ship Simulator's Extreme Ferry DLC, except for it's in red, I believe. Yeah, it's in the red color. Yep. And then over here we have a copy of one of the New York fire ships, which is one of their older looking ones that they do mostly, I think, for fun and memorial purposes yep and then over here we have like a little rescue area with some rescue ships and then these two these big ones right here are both sister ships and then the little one the next to little one is just a copy of those two just downsized and then got like a little crane boat that king sent me a picture of i'm like okay i'll build it so i think that one's called the linga as well yeah that's why i found it yeah and then finally, on the other side, we have a police boat, that it like a little police cruiser boat to protect the harbor. And then yep. one of your boats, I believe, right there. Yeah, right. that's uh, Norden that me and George made last time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep. And I think that's it for the ships area. So I think we're off to our newest uh, project we started on. It's Warp Airport 2. Okay. What about the uh, first one? Oh, we had to fly there from Warp 3, if you want to do that one real quick. Okay, yeah, let's do warp that Warp Ships 3. Okay. I'll, I'll use my high-speed fly stuff. No, so we just fly this way. There we go. Wherever you went. <laughs> awesome. I'm right at the end. I'm flying up to the entrance right now. Oh, yeah, there you are. Went right over okay. me. So, yes, this is... Uh, I started work on an airport since it was kind of nice. A good, uh, a good idea to add an airport into... OIO, and we basically just finished the whole thing, and uh, it was a little too small, so King and I are starting on a new airport that'll fit all the big planes, like 747s, and it's all in Minecraft scale. The only thing in scale in this one is this Southwest Boeing 737 I threw together. Yep. Yeah, right now I'm kind of walking around the inside. Yeah, I didn't really go over the inside too much. If you want a quick, uh, give them a quick brief description on the areas I can... Well, basically, right here in the beginning is just the ticket counter areas, and then oh, that leads right into security, which goes up to all the gates and the flight board and all the shops and stuff. And if you notice that on some of these signs, they're all fictional places. Far, or, far away. Or references. <laughs> and then we got the gates and the waiting areas, and then down here is the baggage claim, which is basically yep. that's all that's going on in this airport. Yes. Little subway right here I built. Oh yeah. I gave up on. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Sin also made like a McDonald's and a 7-Eleven. <laughs> yep. And then Elite made this little shop that you just went into. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And we can go yep. over to the new airport area. All right. I'll step on out and quick give them an overview of the planes. Yeah. This uh, was just a little CRJ. Let's see here. SAS uh, CRJ. Um, that's a United Connect uh, plane. Once again, a CRJ. Um, these are kind. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Chris have been disputing this. I think they look like A320s. Um, he says they're fictional. Uh, that or they look like Embraer 190s. Yeah, so, I would go with Embraer because because the uh, the fuselage is short compared to yep. what it would be on the like the 737. Mm hmm. 
But the other thing too is they could easily be A3 uh, 18s as well. Yeah. Those little yeah. stubby little things. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much it's uh, what you guys decide. <laughs> so yeah, you whatever your mind, your mind thinks. Yep. Uh, right here we got a Northwest plane I repainted. Um, down there, Jet Blue, and then there's Chris's uh, Southwest 737. So I think that's pretty much it for over here, except for... Uh, yeah, the only back... thing out here is just the runway and the taxiways. Yep, and then back here we just got building grounds that I've been building planes. Like, there's a handful of vehicles I threw together. Uh, me and, and I know George did the fuel tanker and the cleaning and pushback truck. And that was just from our Fokker, which I think we showed off. <laughs> we I showed, showed off it and... off in, like, my first yep. playground. I'm like, what? <laughs> when I first yeah, saw it. <laughs> yep. And then over here, yeah, there's... Uh, a DC-10 that we're moving probably later, I think. Yeah. And that's by uh, Nano, once again, one of his last builds with us. Then a uh, little DHL plane. All right, so we want to go over to our, to our, uh, your late, your, well, our latest project, I guess. Yeah. Mainly, mainly yours, because I've been slacking off and just causing trouble. Airport 2. There we go. All right. So, yeah, right here is just the runway, which is... 900 and the sign says 983 by 61 blocks long. So a ginormous runway. Yeah, big enough for a 747 and I kind of already started the taxiway right here. And that's all that's going on for the actual structure of the airport. But we do have a, plenty of planes to play with and repaint. Yep. So we'll start off right here with the American, which is a MD-80. I'll let you go over yours and I'll go over mine. All right. Uh, here's a, an MD-80, which is kind of a variation of my Fokker 50. Um, I couldn't think of a really good company that owned uh, MD-80, so I just went with American. Uh, next to it, we got the 727. Yep, 727. Uh, Northwest paint job. And uh, here's, once or, yeah, here's my yep. Southwest Airlines, which we already saw. Yep. And then... Most of the rest are all my planes, except for the last two that are going to be back that way. This is the 757 in the Northwest Airlines color that I made just for King. Yeah. So he loves Northwest. And then we got the 767 in the Hawaiian Airlines paint scheme. And these are all, we did uh, one big Boeing lineup that we're going to release here pretty soon. And then behind it, we got the KLM 777. Which is pretty much, they're all like the same concept in their fuselage shape, except this 777 has big engines. And then back here is the 707 in its house paint job, in the original paint job it came in, with the brown and the light yellow color. And then back this way we have a 717 that uh, King painted into yep. Airtran. Yeah, we pretty much took the uh, Fokker 50 and modified the living hell out of it. Yeah. And then... Back more is the 787 in the JL, JAL paint scheme. And then finally, the biggest pain to build, the 747-400, which took a lot 300. of... 300. Yeah, one of the <laughs> two. <laughs> uh, I, always, I always will fight over that, just like... Because it doesn't have the door on top. Yeah. So, whatever, yeah. And then over so. here we got yours that you can go yep. over. So here's my DC-9, I uh, pretty much took once again the Fokker, the 7-1, and modified it so it has the smaller engines and stuff. Uh, and pretty much what I've been doing is I've been repainting all the planes to feature Northwest. And so hopefully maybe in a couple days release like a Northwest pack. So uh, CRJ that Chris did and then I repainted. Uh, and once again these are all in Northwest. And then this one right here is once again the... Who knows what it is, an Embraer <laughs> or an A318 uh, in Northwest Colors as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. And we can't think of anything else that's new. Um, hopefully we'll, for right, the next preview, we'll actually be able to show some of the new airport. Hopefully yeah. The next one. I hope to get some good um, work on it. I think that'll be probably about a week or so before you guys can expect the next preview because uh, work slowed down a little bit because uh, I know George is busy, Chris is busy, and then I'm going to be gone all next week. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. You want to say anything? Any final words, Chris? Yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. All right, so uh, make sure you guys go check out all of our channels. Uh, go check out George's. I think he's been posting some new uh, ship pack videos. Um, 
Chris has been posting tours now as well, and then I'll be hopefully starting get Retro Game of the Week. I'm probably going to try to film it all this week and then maybe release it, have it set to release next week. So um, I think that pretty much covers it. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I hopefully see you guys in the next one.